Good evening and welcome back to another one of my videos. I was going to try to make, oh, I think three videos today, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make all three of them because I'm kind of tired. <coughs> I had to get up this morning and go to the dermatologist. So that's what this video is going to be about, is my dermatologist video. And I was going to make one about my jazzy life. Lord bless me. <laughs> and the third one was going to be about my trip I had. I took out of town on a Sunday. I came back on Tuesday morning. But that's my deal. Today, I went to the dermatologist. You see, I got a little big afro. It was bigger than this. I done patted down some. <laughs> And my doctor is so proud of me. Those, it was some blue pills I showed to you guys a while back on one of my videos. Uh, I thought they was part of my acne pills too, but the doctor said they was part of the hair video. I mean, the hair pills and the little yellow bottle. Well, I'm going to show that to you right now. I'm going to shoot. I don't have none of it together. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me pause this. Okay. I put you guys on pause for a few minutes. My arthritis is kind of killing me. This is, let me see so y'all can see. This is my alert bracelet. And I got the uh, app on my phone. And, uh, It'll let you know all my illness and everything. I'm trying to uh, hold on this right now. Before I can start talking, I'm trying to ease this arthritis down my arm. My arthritis has been acting up ever since. I am so sorry. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, you guys. This arthritis is throwing me off track. It's been acting up ever since. I was doing my little Buddha dance on New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, me and my daughter-in-law and my grandbaby, we had fun. We celebrated New Year's in my bedroom, listened to music and stuff and everything. And the next day, I paid the price. Arthritis was crazy all over my body. I thought I was dying. The pills was not kicking in fast enough. I said, no more twerking. And yes, I can twerk. <laughs> Not like live twerking, but the real twerking. <laughs> but, oh, this disease is really killing me right now. I'm going to have to take my bracelet off. Because it's killing me. I can't hold it. I have to hold that pain. While this pain is easing down, I'm going to, uh kind of show you some of this stuff she said that i'm doing good with the soap the soap that i had showed you guys that i was taking for my skin she told me to keep on taking that every uh every day i think i supposed to take it two times a day in the morning and at night and uh and i had asked her can she please help me with my dog spots and stuff. I was going to tell retarded jazz about the the stuff that can help, but I'm not one of her kids' ass subs, so she don't like talk. She don't like answering none of my stuff I be sending to her on her lives or on her uh, IGs and stuff, so I just said, fuck her. <laughs> and, and stuff, so I ain't worried about her. Let her face be looking that kind of way. But, uh, these are the pills. Um, these are the pills. Well, these are the pills. She told me I can stop taking. I can get rid of these and stuff. I don't need to take these no more for my hair. It's doing real good. It's real healthy. And she told me to keep on taking the head and shoulders, uh, the head and shoulders, uh, stuff. This is one of them. This is just a moisturizer. You don't have to use moisturizer if you don't want to. I bought this with the shampoo and the conditioner. But this is the kind of uh, 
head and shoulder she told me to always get don't get no other kind of head and shoulder with this kind right here so this gonna be my go-to shampoo and conditioner and stuff and i'm still gonna keep on getting this to the daily moisturizer too to add on to it and because my hair is so healthy it's growing and the paws that was had fallen out is ooh, it's growing back too and she told me to keep on taking this because the uh she told me to keep on taking this too right here i'm supposed to put this on my scalp every day too this lotion is it's called it say lotion but it's liquid and uh so she told me she told me to keep on taking it because don't stop taking it because the uh, disease is not gone nowhere. It's still there. And to keep it down and keep it away. To keep on taking that and stuff. So, back to my acne. Uh, well, not acne. The dark spots. She told me. She put my skin up under some kind of radar uh, thing on my face. And she told me mine is something similar like hers. But, uh... But those spots, it's not going to go away too long because my uh, dog spots is not going to go away too long, too fast because they old and and uh, I can use all kinds of stuff. It's not going to go nowhere. And there were false advertising the folks was giving me and stuff. But she said this will help it, but she only want me to use it for two months and that's it because it'll mess up my It'll, it'll really mess up my skin. She told me to use that. I'm not going to show the other part of it. Because it's got my uh, address and stuff on it. And and then she told me to get this sunscreen. It's called E-L-E-L-T-A -E uh, M-D Tinted Sunscreen. It's on Amazon. And it was because this was not I had to pay for cash with this. My insurance couldn't pay for that. And the sunscreen, it was number 30, I think $35 for that. And uh, she told me to put it on my skin every day. But if I'm going outside, don't put it where the mask is covering that because it's going to touch that and it's going to infect it with that mask on there. And it's going to break it out and stuff with that mask. So she just told me to put it where the, uh, the sun, the uh, where the mask ain't going to be covering it, like up here. And then right here, right up here, and right up under here and stuff, wherever my mask don't cover it, put it in those spots there. So I'm waiting on that to come. It'll be here Friday. And I'm going to do a little haul. I got these shapewares, these two shapewares I just bought me and stuff until I can get my, my uh, stomach and my uh my stomach and i done did so many uh with that adventure that ring fit adventure game i had already had butt but i didn't i wasn't tending on trying to get no more extra butt and stuff and that doggone thing spread my butt and hips out and everything and i just got my butt just big and hips are too and i i love my butt and hips but they just look extra so I got me some shapewear to kind of tone it down some and to tone my stomach down until I can get it right where I want it at. But back to my hair and my skin, I'm glad that she's helping me because I rather prefer to have a woman doctor in a way. I, I prefer to have all women doctors because I feel better and they listen to me. They understand. Well, some of them do. They understand me and... They can help me better than a man doctor will. Because when I was going to that other dermatologist skin doctor, that doctor, he gave me so much kind of crazy stuff. And that what messed up my liver. He gave me some kind of acne pills. And it messed up. That's what messed up my liver. I couldn't eat. I, I had a hard time swallowing. I, I couldn't swallow food. And, and that right there, what... Brought on all the weight loss, and I think I told y'all about already about this and everything. And 
Now it messed up my bowels. So I go to Dr. Bowen on the 12th and everything. But I'm not talking about all of it, but though just like I was explaining. That's why I prefer a woman's doctor. I prefer a woman doctor at my clinics and all my clinics and stuff too. So when I get my yearly exams and stuff, I want to be thoroughly checked out. Blood work, every doggone thing. I want it all. I know half of it is going to say negative and stuff, but I still want the whole nine yards. I don't get a pap smear, but every, I think every 10 years or 12 years because of I had a hysterectomy. But they give me that because it was like that because uh, I had cervical cancer. And they just want to make sure that the cancer didn't come back. That's why they give me a pap smear like that. But when they check it, it always be negative. But they always have to check it and stuff and make sure the uh the cancer didn't come back down there. But yeah, I love my little afro and my little friend. He's happy that my hair is growing back and stuff and everything. So I will be back soon. I'm not gonna put no braids back in my hair yet. I'm ready for them, but I'm just gonna keep on wearing my little wigs and everything and I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know, if, I don't know when I'm going to be ready for my, I think I'm going to get my braids, but I don't, I don't know when I'll be ready for my braids again and stuff, but right now, I'm going to keep doing my wash, I wash my hair every week, and I do a hair mask, and with the, uh, with the avocado, and all of that avocado, the honey, the oil, uh, all of my oil, oils, tea tree, java oil, and some more vitamin E oils and stuff. I put it all in there. And the, with the mayonnaise and the egg and stuff. And I put it in my blender and I mix it and I put it in my hair. And, excuse me. And I put it in my hair. And I put it in my hair and stuff. And then I uh let it sit in there for about an hour. And I put the uh cap on my head and stuff. And then when the hour's up, I uh wash it, wash it out with my uh with my new shampoo and stuff and all like that. And my hair be feeling so refreshed. I don't dry it. I don't blow dry it. I just let the air dry out. I pick it out. I moisturize it and everything. And I pick it out and stuff. And I just leave it like this. I moisturize it real good because I know when I usually have my, when I had my, my uh wig on my head and stuff. And I had to sew down and stuff in the back. I had to sew down and I glued it in the front. It did not, I noticed it did not itch. It did not burn or nothing. And my head, I guess because I moisturize it real good. And I guess because that infection is gone in my head and stuff like that. But I'm happy. But that I, that wig, I had to throw it away. I'm never going to order a wig like that. And why I sent them folks a bad review. Because that wig, when I was finna get in, I would let my daughter-in-law uh brush it and stuff that thing looked like shaggy do look like a shag i sent them a real bad review and i was not told folks do not buy this wig it's not worth the money it's not worth nothing it is not worth it i can deal with the tangling i can deal with the tangling stuff because i'm used to the tangling i'm used to that but the tangling in my other wigs is not that bad and stuff. I can run my finger through those little bit of tangles and stuff or whatever. But with that wig, you can you couldn't even run your fingers through it at all. That your hand will get stuck up in there. I like man. Mm -mm. But this video gonna be short and 
gonna get on off of this one, but I just had to let you guys know what was going on with my acne and my hair and stuff because I am so happy and I hope you guys had having a happy new year and stuff and I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to click, make a comment, subscribe to my channel, and click like. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.